And let's get this thing started. Oh, it's a cool car. Rick hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Hit the road. So it's me and Nikki. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll also need to find ways to train and grow your team. I like to start at the Yall Mart. Lots of good stuff in the Yall Mart. We're going to do this. The group spots an abandoned Yall Mart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Mild sluggish in the morning. Let's go bargain hunting. Uh, I start with an axe. Pretty cool. What does Nikki start with? I think it starts with a frying pan. Okay, we can make that work. Let's go. So I should be a lot stronger now that I've upgraded my fight. Hopefully that pays off. Get dead. Hopefully I don't get too winded too quick either. Don't break my shopping cart. Make sure to return your shopping carts to the shopping cart corral. Get out of my way. Oh, yeah. Already got some food there. Ooh, got a gale board. More foods. So let's just do a lap around Yalmart, and then we'll go through the doors once we pick this place clean. Oh, what's this? Got some bullets. Bullet, bullets. Like there's too much on the shelves, unfortunately. All right, come with me, Nikki. Stay alive. Don't do anything crazy now. Okay, I think that we've actually picked this place pretty clean already. So let's go through this door up here. Come on, Nikki. Get in here. There you go. Let's shut that door. Ooh, got a gun over here. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. There we go. I think my shoot is pretty good, too. Um, oh, I'm already forgetting how to play this game. There we go. It's only been a week, Rick. It's only been a week. Don't forget how to play already. Okay, give me. There we go. Medical supplies, nice. Get some gasoline. Yeah. Who's there? Zombies. Next door. All right, fellas. Well, what's happening up there? Got zombies just falling over. Apparently slipping on uh, wet floors. Okay, I'm, I'm finally getting winded here. Gonna take it easy. I'm beating up zombies. Oh, hello. All right, you can come in. Nikki, help me out here. Come on. Help me out. Kill this zombie, would you? There you go. You see me trying to fight this zombie, and you're just standing there. Not doing much to help. Oh, got a food down here. Okay, that, that was okay. I feel like I wish I could have found more stuff in there, but, you know, we didn't get eaten. Got out alive. Got a gun. Good to fight another day, you know? Just gonna move on. Five food, 69 gas, one medical kit, 20 bullets, 31 zombies destroyed. The world is a little bit of a safer place now. And Mary just dropped 100 bits and said, distracting lady bits. Woo! Guess what? It's okay, because we're safe now. So you thought you were distracting me, but you were just delighting me. Thank you, Merit. Drop some bike tours for Merit. Uh, the group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal, loses four food. They find a row of cans sitting on a wooden fence. Let's shoot them cans. I got a gun. Shoot them cans. Shoot them cans. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. Rick's shooting increases. Nikki's shooting also increases. A man in red long johns runs out on the field with a pitchfork. My cans. My precious antique cans. Oh, look what you've done to him. He shakes his pitchfork and yells. Rick's morale decreases, and so does Nikki's. We had pretty good morale, though. Uh, should we say ha ha or do? This is a Simpsons reference, in case you guys don't get it. Uh, let's go with do. There we go. At least we increase our shooting. The group runs into some people that are attempting to run a small farm. They offer eight food in exchange for some help. Um, I don't. I wonder if Nikki is good at repair work. Let's find out. Nikki offers her services in fixing things around the farm. There's so many broken things that she becomes exhausted. Nikki's mechanical increases, and the farmers are grateful for the work. Eight food, totally worth it. Good job, Nikki. You're a great mechanic. That'll come in handy when our car breaks down. The group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be a little groggy, at least at first. Mild sluggish in the morning when driving into a city, the group spots something. Is it a sporting goods store or a pharmacy? I'm gonna go with the pharmacy. Let's go get some meds. Okay, Nikki's still got her frying pan. I should have a few things here. I'm gonna leave my gun at home. 
There we go. Just bring that spiked club with us. Let's do it. Okay, small greens is right here. Let's go ahead and hit this place up before we hit up the small greens. Whoa. We already got zombie boys coming out. Let's start at the back and work our way forward. Come on, Nikki. Oh, here we go. What's this? Eight bullets, not too shabby. And let's go to this door to the left. After we kill this dumb dumb. There we go. Ah, man, I'm a strong boy. Feels good to be a strong boy. Ooh, got some free food. Somebody's stashing cheeseburgers in their nightstand. Those are my kind of people. And we got some med kids. Let's go, Nikki. Come on. All right, let's check out this door to the left. Oh, we got another door here. Here we go. I didn't even notice that zombie down there. He's blending in so well. Camouflage zombie. Get out of here, camouflage zombie. Have a seat. Do that one more time. I like to kill zombies with chairs. Oh, you didn't die? Tough zombie. All right. Uh, we've got some more medical. Who keeps a chair in the bathroom? Somebody sitting here watching somebody go. That's weird. It's weird. Weird place to keep a chair. Can I pick up a bed? Am I that strong? I'm not. <laughs> I know the last bodybuilder. Okay, oh. Got a spatula. That's a terrible weapon. But tons of food. Look at all this friggin' food. Aw, oh, poor little puppy bones. There we go. Got some more food. All right, so far this has been pretty good. We haven't even made it to the small greens yet. Check out this door. Okay, nothing here. Let's turn back. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Good job, Nikki. Thanks for getting my back. More medical supplies. Not a weird place for a chair. I have to use a chair in my shower. Oh, okay. But there was no shower in that bathroom. There was no shower in that bathroom. Uh, oh, I totally whipped that one. Switch back my hatchet. There we go. Chop you, chop you. More med supplies. Not a ton going on here in the small greens, honestly. Is there a door anywhere? Let's see if there's a door somewhere. There's no door. That was kind of a bust. That apartment that we went to is way better than the small greens. All right. Let's go see if there's anything else worth checking out in this town. Let's go up north. Okay, lots of stuff locked there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got a house here ready to be searched. Oh, look at that. Already a gun and some bullets. Pick up that gun, dude. Pick up the pistol. Oh, my goodness. Will you pick up that? Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. I'm getting my back. I could not pick up that pistol. It was in a bad spot. Woo. Okay, that's blocked. The way is closed. Let's go this way. Oh, that way is shut as well. Oh, oh, snap. Search that. Got some food. Nice. Boom. Um, nope, nothing here. Come on, Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Stick with me. Stay with me. Okay, we've got, looks like bullets and, oh, hello. Oh, that was just junk, really? That looked really cool. I can't believe that was only junk. That's butts. I think there's one more door worth of searching. Let's see. Ah, closed, okay. Not bad. So far, the small greens has been the worst place we've checked in this place. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, okay, everything's closed up that way. I think that's pretty much it for this town. I think that's pretty much it. All right, we can roll. Let's boogie. Let's robo-boogie. Start the car. Floor it. All right. I think that was a pretty good haul. Five food, six medical, 19 bullets for the pistol, 20 for the rifle. Right. Car's got plenty of fuel. If we can get solar panels and a couple batteries, it could come in handy. Let's keep our eyes out then. I can see something, something, something. Oh, the group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building's on fire! Oh, God! Uh, plan our escape or run out now? Oh, um, I feel like... Whew, we should plan our escape, right? Let's really think this through. Who plans and leaves the escape? I'm gonna go... Nikki? Wait, I think my wits are good. I think that I need wits, right? I'm gonna say me. Rick tries to keep calm and observant. He panics, and this wastes precious time. No! 
Rick's composure is revealed. I have good composure. Um, our morale is getting bad, though. He plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt, but we lose four food. Oh, no, no. The group gets away. We eat four food. That's even better. That's even better. Oh, you like my ride, Merit? It is nice, right? That's pretty sweet. It's pretty, pretty sweet. The way ahead has a big tree lying across it. It looks like someone cut it down to block the road. It would take a group of strong people to move it safely. The group decides to um, lift the tree, take a detour, plow through. Ugh. All these sound like terrible ideas. I think let's just take a detour. We're going to waste gas. But let's just do it. The group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. They get lost for a full day until finally finding an alternate. We lost 67 gas. Holy butts. Okay, we need to find gas now. You can slow them zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. We have 14 of that. Let's go trade. Let's visit this trader camp. Oh, hello. I like these kind of trader camps because there's usually free stuff in here. Yo, look at this guy just pumping iron. What's up, bro? It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass in bulk with an intense strength routine. He flails towards some heavy objects lying around. You have 14 food. If we give him six, he can train us, but I'm pretty strong. I feel pretty fit. I'm going to leave you for now, all right? Good luck on your, your pumping, dude. Feel that pump. Feel it, dude. Feel it. Who's this lady? The group find... Oh, it's a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He offers one medical item each uh, for an item of food. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Medical is good. I'm going to say no thanks because I feel like at this point, food is better. We have to eat food. Medical supplies are sort of a luxury. As long as I don't get bit, we should be okay. But I, I'm going to have to eat no matter what. Uh, the man is carrying several shotguns, most of them lashed to his back. He's booming about a simple yet effective sales pitch. Shotguns for sale. Shotguns for sale. You have 14 food left. Now oh, we're going to leave him alone. I have my rifle. You can keep your shotgun for now. Got my trusty hatchet. It's all good. All right, let's do a little bit of searching around here. Is there a campfire? There's not, right? Looks like this is it. We didn't get anything free. That's kind of a bummer. All right. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's roll out. Gotta go find some gas. All right. If it takes place in the US, you're supposed to get to Canada because there's no zombies there. That is true. Oh, the group gets ambushed by a horde of zombies. While running, they encounter a woman already swarmed in the corner. It looks hopeless. <gasps> then she turns into a anime magical girl. The zombies don't have a chance against this. We gotta recruit the magical anime girl. Are you kidding me? Harvey-chan sparkles, lifts her lovely wand, and emits heart beams. A new team! Let's make a difference! Harvey-chan joins the team. Onward to Canada. <laughs> Harvey-chan! Fit and a great attitude. I can bet Queen Darkspore is something. Probably behind the zombies. Never read fast enough. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert, no escape, large. We only have to survive for 0.7 hours. We can do this. We can do this. Um, Harvey-chan. She's got this awesome wand. It's amazing. Um, Nikki, you got a baseball bat. You've got a pistol. Okay, and Rick, you know what? Gonna give you the rifle in case you need it. All right, we just gotta survive. 0.7 hours. Let's go, guys. Let's go find some gas. There we go. Okay. Ooh, look at her. Look at Harvey John go. Clears the path, Harvey John. We really need to get through here. There we go. There we go. Oh, God. Zombies everywhere. Okay, we don't wanna get pinned down here, guys. Let's clear this out. Um, oh, oh, snap. There we go. Oh, God. Nope. Take my hatchet back. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We can go the bottom way. Perfect. Perfect, guys. Oh, it's very small. This area is very small. Okay, we only got to survive 0.7 hours. We've got this. Save us, Harvey John. Lovely transform. Okay, there we go. The siege is over. Now we can escape. Let's go. Exit. Uh, yes, let's hit the road. All right. Not bad. We survived. Nobody took any damage. We need gas, though, in a bad way. Let's see if we can find some. Harvey Champ seems pretty strong. She's not strong, but she's got magic. 
The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Um, ooh, Harvey Chan, faster run speed. No, we need something for everybody. Uh, we don't need to heal any health. Morale and random skill gain. That would be pretty good, right? Let's do it. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. All of our morale increases. Harvey Chan's morale is through the roof. Uh, yeah, Harvey Chan's strength wasn't good, but now it's mediocre. And we earned a Zombo point. Make sure to keep both hands on the wheel when driving. Fine, whatever. Harvey Chan's morale decreases. Really? Because I told her to keep both hands on the wheel? That's just common sense. That's just good advice. Without a car, the group is easy prey for bandits. A group ambushes you and demands your supplies. All food and gas plus half of your ammo? That's terrible. I'm going to have to fight. I'm not going to give up everything. That'd be crazy. <sighs> Let's go. No, the group knows that every single one of their supplies is essential. It's true. Uh, everybody gets hurt. But you know what? We keep our stuff. So that's fine. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group's very hungry. And they eat an extra meal. Uh, the group eats a decent meal. Cool. That's good. That's good. Uh, and Harvey John rolls up her sleeves and starts sending to the wounds. Nice! Her medical's terrible, though. We gotta get that up. Alright, the group walks to the entrance of a dark tunnel filled with cars. There has to be some gas and working car in there. Also, lots of zombies. You can't escape from them easily. Thick and irritated and it's after dark. This is a terrible time to search these tunnels. We're gonna have to equip some flashlights here. Guess what, Nikki? You're gonna be our flashlight bearer, okay? That gun's only got four bullets. Um, Harvey John, I'm gonna give you a flashlight, too. Alright? And what do I got on me? I still got my rifle if I need it. All right, let's roll out. Come on, guys. Let's go find this car. Let's find gas as well. There we go. We've got food. Harvey Chan is awesome. Look at her. Look at her with that magic. She's incredible. I'm glad we found you, Harvey Chan. Right through those zombies. Those idiots. Uh, gotta search all the cars, too. I see the little spark is there. There we go. Get that food. Free food. Ah, here's the car. That was easy. Oh, there's the gas over here, too. Let's go get this gas. There we go. Free gas. Get in that car, guys. Let's go. Not bad. We made that look easy. Three food, 68 gas, 40 rifle ammo. Let's go. All right. It gets late. And there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance, and one might sneak up on you while the group sleeps. Who should stay awake to watch? Uh, we're going to take shifts and sleep. Group takes turns sleeping during the night. Rick is very tired in the morning, and the other members didn't sleep great either. Oh, great. That's just great. Morale decreases. Oh, man, we got to get our morale up. Everybody's in a real cranky mood. Harvey Chan is fully healed. I gotta get fully healed. Rick is not. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Um, okay, both these places are gonna be very tough. I'm gonna go with a riled up apartment. I feel like we can find more supplies in there. The group spots an apartment with agitated zombies shambling nearby. They may be angry for no reason, as there's no sign of anyone else there. Swarm size is only mild, though, but they are hunting. I think with three of us, we can clear out a mild swarm size. Uh, I think everybody's still pretty good on their equipment, right? Here we go. I'm going to give you a knife just in case your other knife breaks. Okay, and nobody needs flashlights. Let's do it. All right, guys. Harvey John is amazing. Do what you do, Harvey John. Don't ever stop being you, you beautiful anime lady, you. Go to the left. Oh man, you are just tearing them up! Anime girl! I'll let you kill all these people because you're doing a wonderful job. Okay, nothing in here. There was a door up top. Let's go to the door up top. Aha, hello guys. What's in your cabinet? Shotgun shells. Thank you very much. I still don't have a shotgun though. Finding lots of shotgun shells. No shotguns with which to use them. Okay, nothing in this bathroom. Bathroom's already been looted. Somebody stole all the contents of that wonderful toilet. Oh, oh, hello. Hey, take it easy there, buddy. Slow your roll. Uh, all right, what, what's this? Rick finds a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The magazine's titled Modern Hunter. 
He stuffs it into his pack. Nice! Learn some shooting skills, Tex. And, okay, it looks like there may be something here. Nope, nothing here. Never mind. I take it back. There's nothing of value in that bathroom. A run with Harvey Chan and Someday would be amazing. It would be incredible. I really hope I find Someday. Someday's probably my favorite character that I've come across in this game so far. Just so helpful. That little skeleton army is so useful. I also liked the last bodybuilder, though, too. I feel like I didn't get to play him enough. He died too soon. But the fact that he could just pick up cars and hurl them at zombies was so incredible. I really hope I find that guy again. Oh, God. Nope. Turn back. Let's go, guys. Yeah, these guys might be aggressive, but this swarm is small, so I'm not too worried about these guys. I think that we can take them out pretty easily. Everyone back up. Let's let them come into this room. We'll clear them out real quick. Oh, we got people coming from behind us, too. Oh, God. Hello. Hello. There we go. Nice and clear now. There's a door right down below. Is that it? Anything else I could search? That's it. All right. Um. Okay. That's it. Let's go. So far, we're doing all right. So far, not too bad. Oh, hello. Um, got the door down here. Here we go. There's nothing. Oh, toilet. Probably find some toilet gas in there. Toilets is where gas goes. We got gas. Go sit on the toilet. We got tummy trubs. Toilet time. Oh, hello, zombies. Come on, everybody. Um, I guess that's it. Guess that's it. Let's let's leave. We did good. You did good. Found four food, 23 gas, got some bullets, killed 49 zombies. The group now has the magazine Modern Hunter. Who should read it? Um, I'm going to read it because I'm going to be the one who stays alive. He absorbs the content. Sadly, he ruins the magazine for others due to his grimy fingers. But my shooting is now so, so good. So, so good. All right. I'm a good shooter. I'm finally fully healed, but we don't have any medical supplies now. We got to find some of those. Oh, hey, it's Price. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. <laughs> he's oblivious, but he's a gun collector. Uh, let's recruit him. I'd be mean not to. There we go. Now we got a full team. We got to find more food because these people are going to eat a lot of food. Furniture is the natural enemy of zombies. Is that right, Nikki? The group loots a dentist's office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technically edible tubes of toothpaste. Nikki goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their spare selection, or sparse selection. Pick a magazine. Uh, Glurg for the sensitive soul. Questionable science or celeb news. Celeb news, I think, is bad news. We've read that in the past. I haven't read Glurg for the sensitive soul, but questionable science. Let's try it. Nikki feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now that civilization's more or less destroyed, it was still a pretty entertaining magazine. Uh, Nikki's attitude is terrible, and it's decreased. Cool. Her morale increases, though, and we get some food and medical supplies. Oh, Nikki, I got to kick you out of the group soon. You are going to weigh us down. I have a bad feeling about you. Takes a real strong, fit person to use a sledgehammer well. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case. Um, who should stay on watch? You know what? As the new guy, Price, you got to stay and watch. Price stands guard for the night. He falls asleep almost instantly. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. Price, your loyalty's crap, bruv. Got to do something about that. Oh, come on, Price. The group is low on food needs less. Price, you ding dong. Ah, all right. Wonder if I could get strong enough to just throw something, something. Uh, Rick, under intense pressure, starts to get shaky hands from the stress. Oh, Rick's shooting decreases. And my mechanical decreases. Oh, come on. During a moment's piece of gnome shows up and starts shrieking. I'm no me, the challenge conduct, no. It gives you the choice of an extra challenge in exchange for a fabulous reward. I'd be a fool not to do this. Are you kidding me? Um, no shooting chainsaw, no melee attacks, max morale penalty. Ooh, let's go no shooting chainsaw because that's pretty much the way we've been rolling right now. Uh, let's do it. Guns and chainsaws are too loud. I hate them. 
Choosing this will make the group no longer capable of shooting guns or using chainsaws or similar weapons. In exchange, you will get one random high quality melee weapon for each member of your group. Possible weapons, wooden club, the whammer, sturdy cleaver, mighty claymore, halberd. I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. No more guns or chainsaws. Enjoy your challenge. We got a mighty claymore and a halberd. That's amazing. I love it. And we can sell these guns now. When a siege happens, you have to go all out. Rick demands that either Harvey Chan leaves or Rick does. Wait, 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 what? What? No! This is bad! I gotta... Uh. Is Harvey Chan's wand considered a gun? Great question. I don't think it is. We're gonna find out, though. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. All right. I'm gonna give you guys, like, 30 seconds to vote, okay? Uh, Harvey Chan or Rick? Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a straw poll real quick. All right. Vote on that, all right? In the meantime, we're gonna talk about the benefits of Rick. He's super strong. Like, his fight is maxed out. So, when it comes to uh, my fight, when it comes to using melee weapons, you can't get much better than Rick. Harvey Chan, though, she's magical. Terrifying looking, though. Look at her. She's absolutely atrocious to look at. Um, so, just know, while she may be um, charming, not quite the fighter that Rick is, but you guys are the bosses. I'm going to let you choose, all right? We're going to let this thing roll for another 30 seconds. Start voting now, guys. One more time. I'm going to just put that in the chat. There you go. Vote here. Go to that straw poll. I want to see these results. Oh, come on. It's close. It's close. All right, 30 more seconds. All right. Oh, oh, 41 votes. Harvey Chan leaves the group. It's 49-51. Oh, my goodness. That was too close, you guys. That was too close. All right. We loved your time here with us, Harvey Chan. But you got to go. Harvey Chan was kicked out. Rick feels pretty smug about this. My morale increases.